food. To our stupid reactions units. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, for more juicy content. Juicy. It's 3D so juicy. content. Um, we are. We've ever put an avocado up your butt? Remember the uh, $100 street food challenge? Didn't even one moment. Face him. Remember the $100 street food challenge? I do, and lots of warnings saying, guys, please don't do this, you'll die. I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have diarrhea. <laughs> well, hey, you're, you're doing right. it with me, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just paying for it. Um, but anyways, this is another from that same guy who, he had a great video. This was the one in Mumbai. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, I really like that guy a lot. Band? Totally get it. He has really good... Uh, yeah, the $100 street food challenge. We did that around the same time we did the street food in Calcutta with yeah. that other guy from Canada. Yeah, this so, is the guy with the uh, $100 yeah. street food, but this one's called Exotic Street India Street Food. Ex exotic yeah. Indian street food? As if Indian street food wasn't exotic enough? Yeah, so it's called Exotic Street oh Food my stars. India, in Delhi. Crazy flaming fire pan. Okay, so yes, we read all the warnings, and trust me, I I know by reason of Indrani letting me know what we shouldn't be eating. And but did you read all the warnings about street food? I'm doing it. Here we go. Just gonna do it. Just gonna do it. Is that flaming pan? Come no. back up. Come back up. Oh God, he just. You did it. I was concerned with her throat. Now that's hot food. What they didn't show was her going to the emergency room. That's led up. I have traveled all over Asia, digging up some of the world's most unique and what some might call weird food. Yeah. I tried worm pancakes in Vietnam. Oh. Look at the worms on top. What the? I tried fire ants in Cambodia. Super sour taste. I even tried a little bit of Kentucky Fried Snake in China. If you're gonna get snake, do it right. Get a huge snake, I bet that's because delicious. then you can really bite into it. But here in India, we had to dig even deeper. <laughs> Some call weird, I call extreme food innovation. Today's it innovators punches are in the mouth. shot, the first to sell <laughs> noodle ice cream in India. We'll find out why this crazy man is putting his hand in boiling hot oil. And we'll see if I survived my bout with New Delhi's infamous fire pond. Have you done this before? No, it's very first time. Oh, you haven't done it either? No. Our next location, Frank's, oh my god, this street is clear. Hi, so our next location, it's a very unique food right here, made at this stall, invented at this stall that we're going to right now. For over 60 years, this small shop has been cranking out the goods. A sweet, refreshing confection called Robbery Faluda. This is basically a noodle ice cream. They've taken a vermicelli noodle and they mixed it with a very sweet, thick, it is like a condensed milk. You get this every day. I know when I come here. The texture of that makes me want to come here. See, I Once love textures. Year. Once a year. Yeah. That's, part, that's half the fun of what you're, you're eating in the texture. Today. That's amazing. What's your favorite part? Why do you like this? I used to take uh, this dish uh, away from my childhood. It's from 1956. So when you were a child, you were coming here to eat this. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Happy end. Happy anniversary, you two. The dessert starts with a handful of vermicelli noodles. Then the robbery, made by simmering milk long enough for it to become dense and pink in color. Oh God, then an sugar, ad. spices, and... I'll eat for that. Wilford Reserve, yeah. quality is what we're judged against. If we aren't great, nothing else matters. Quality, it's our Woodford way. And nuts are added to give it flavor. Next, a generous dollop of honey, and it finishes off with a bit of ice on top. One glass of noodle ice cream, I absolutely please. Absolutely, eat that. Wow, look at this. It's so special for a couple of reasons. One, they've been doing this since 1956, and this shop is the epicenter, the originator of this dish. I mean, who would have thought one day someone was like, hey, I'm mixing condensed milk and noodles, and then it caught on. Like, this is oh, all over the place in Delhi, delicious. but we came right to the source. Oh, As that yes. said, it's his anniversary kind today. Kind of rice pudding in the texture. Anniversary with this drink. So, so into that. Okay. I'm sure the flavor is good. I don't do like rice pudding. Good. So we got texture, honey. right? We got honey. And we got a little bit of finger spice in there. It all just makes. I bet it's very similar to rice pudding. I'm sure it's tasty. Oh, that is a complex flavor profile. The it's look of that makes me want to throw up. It's icy. 
and it's really it's fruity too. The drink almost has like a spice Not because to it. Of they the put in all these dried fruits into the condensed milk. Oh, I found an almond. There's some almonds. There's some nuts in here too. It's a nice refreshing treat for the nice man I just met here. It reminds him and of I, his I, childhood. I, 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 have you ever seen anything like me. that? No, me neither. Of his it's childhood. very exotic. So, really great memories. Very here today. cool. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, but yeah. Mm, thank you. Oh, he needs his glass back. Uh, <laughs> Old Delhi is a chaotic thrill ride. A swarm of stimulation, people on the go, plenty of food, Ooh. and this guy too. Guys, come on. I found an oxen. They have an ox drawn. I love that his horns right here. Okay. Okay. The colors of the Indian flag. Look at that. They have an ox drawn right here. here. Look at this guy. His horns are painted up like the flag of India. Orange, white, green. Just uh, just an ox on the street pulling a cart. That's amazing. <laughs> Our next mission, sucking goat bones. It'll make Heck sense yeah. in a second. We we are in the busiest part of Old Delhi right now. The horns are yes. non-stop. If you're in someone's way, it's going to push you to the side. That's all right. No big deal. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, all right. We're still smiling now. That's good. So we're going to this legendary restaurant up in front of us. That looks so good. I bet that's goat meat. After they go to the mosque here, one of the biggest mosques in India, and certainly the biggest in Delhi. Right up here is a place serving halal food. We're going to order some of their famous biryani. Oh my god, it's like overwhelmingly loud out here. I've ordered up some mutton biryani and nali nihari, slow cooked goat that's become so tender you can suck out the bone marrow. Oh. It's crazy busy outside. You can probably still hear the horns from here, but it is packed. The guy is like, look, you can shoot. You got that looks really minutes. good. Get out. I got people to serve. Oh, just man. Get it. So I'm salivating by right now. It's my first time having this mutton biryani. I just don't like bone. And I'm going to try just a big spoonful of that here. You don't. You eat wings without the bone. I've never understood it. It looked to have the bone on there. Really good. It it's looks delicious. And, and I'm sure it's tasty. Coming through. I, they they have got this I just dish I, right I don't here. know if I can suck on the bone. Yeah. But man. first we're gonna eat some of this meat. I don't know the best way to approach this. I can that just looks like, tasty pull though, off that meat. the meat and put it into this bread. Oh my goodness. That to me seems pretty genius. That reminds me of what Andrani fed me. It was my favorite thing. Look at that nice tender goat meat. Let's try it. <laughs> uh, I like that they're watching them. That's just some of the most delicious meat I've had. Very you not bet just it that it goes down. Suck out it's the marrow. Ridiculous! It's crazy, they oily, goat, spicy. Just I don't know about seasoning. regionally. I think they do. Like I know it's called. The real reason I wanted to get this is because in it's this bone, you have to thing be able to suck out the bone marrow. And I'm going to try to do that now. Yes. There's nothing. I went for it, I sucked the bone, and uh, nothing came out this time. Oh. No. What? You weren't you weren't doing it right. I was like feeling all down and sad. And this guy just did like a Haruken and, and got it out. Like right there, you can see at the very tip. There's some tendon peaking yeah, out. Yeah, right go there. get it. You see it. Let's try it out. Go get it. It's glorious. No. I got it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's really yummy. Yeah. It's so, it's so delicious. You bet it is. Fatty, it's like a little grizzly still. That's completely soaked up all those sea strings. Well, good enough. Good enough. Woo. Both of those were awesome. Sit it down in reverse though. I will risk my mouth to eat the scorching fire pond. <laughs> he just punches her in the face. Various types of pond have been around forever, but fire pond is a fairly We need to try good pond. Good, good pond. Right to the <laughs> Because we, did, we, had, we did not have good pond. Rancid fire and fire have been pond. sitting in now, what is pond grandmother's pond perfume pond case. Pond is basically a beetle leaf, and there are a lot of uh, paste, and there are spices, and mm -hmm. it's rolled. People eat it because it has in digestion. As well as people eat after the meals, they also eat as a dessert. It's yeah. like a mouth fresh, mouth fresh. And someone's gonna put this food into my mouth. Do they mouth have to put it in my mouth? Like can I hold it? Me? <laughs> I like the idea of someone feeding me food that's on fire, but that's what's gonna happen next. Hi man, how are you doing? Should we do a pound? Boom. Flavored pot, chocolate, nut chocolate, fruit and nut, choco loco. They have all these different varieties here, uh, but they're gonna do the fire one. Do you have it, uh, insurance? Have you done this before? No, it's very first time. Oh, you haven't done it either? No. Oh, okay, you're gonna go first. She would okay. like one fire pun. Yeah, one fire. Oh. I'm sure it's like when you wave your hand over a you candle. Got, you got this one. Well, it just goes out the minute you put yeah, it the in. Yeah, the oxygen is no longer in your so. Look, look to the I, that's not what I'm worried about. <laughs> it's I'm worried, hands. I'm worried about somebody shoving right? something into my mouth. Does it burn? <laughs> 
Can you just tell us like very Not the fire. I don't really time. care about the oh, fire. Is pretty full, right? While she's chewing, I order up my own fire pot. That was much better than the pot we had already. Right? They create a breath freshening paste from acacia extract. Then this clump of sweet rose petal preserves, a bit of chipped oh. ice, then a mystery powder ice. that they set on fire. Okay. Top it off with some syrup and we're ready to That's go. Wait, let's let's get fire. Oh, jeepers. Oh, oh God, oh, I got oh. an ad. That's what you drink after you put the fire pond in your mouth. Should've called it Corbin. <laughs> yes, My heart's beating faster. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a really strong flavor. You got that smoky flavor? That bun? Mm -hmm. It is so minty. Yeah. I don't, I don't like the mint. Intensely minty. That I don't is like mint. Husbands who are smoking, who are trying to hide it from their wives, they probably eat this before yes, they yeah, go home. They do, they do. Because it actually uh, removes your pregnancy of the cigarette. She can do it. She can do it. You gotta, you gotta commit. Oh God. You did it. The fire was so close to my face, I felt it. I, I felt it, it was singeing my eyebrows. Hold on, before this I had rich, thick eyebrows. Yeah. Where did they go? It was scary. It was scary, right? Yeah, and we, it was like smoky flavor, all smoky. Oh, you pawn. And then you get the flavor. I'm not gonna have somebody shove it in my face, though. So. Especially after he's done like yeah, four or five other people like before you. We have some fire, we're scorching, we're gonna cool down. I'll try pawn, though. That looks tasty. The same type of base and rose paste. Then they twist it I love looking at his hands. I don't. Putting it together, ice. there's Once so much ice, being told in, in those fingers. Syrup, that's my least it part of it. And shove it in. It looks like it must taste good. She right? just sucked on his <laughs> finger. Mmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, get it all over you. Oh, boom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is numb. That one is good. I like that one a lot more. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like full of chunky shaved ice. And then I just tasted Hershey's strawberry syrup. Oh, wow. Good 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 syrup, meal, it? Which is kind of a minty in itself. That was a good combination with yeah, the ice. Cool. I'm a big fan of the mint. I got a Thank you so much for trying this with me. On to the next food. Whether you're trying to hide your smoking habit from your wife, or you just do want that. to take on some extreme eats, Fire Pond is a must try Don't hide experience. anything from your wife. Next up, this guy tries to deep fry his own hand. Okay, what is going on here? Dinesh restaurant serves tandoori chicken, tandoori fish, and fried fish. It. But it's how the owner's father interacted with patrons that makes it so special. We are at the legendary Ganesh restaurant. I would be owner Deepak, and thank you so much for having me today. What is so special about your restaurant? It's been so long we are serving the same dish for me. It's been 16 years running the same restaurant. That was tasty. Wow. So it was started by grandfather, then my father, and now it's a third generation server. The uniqueness was that my father used to fry fish, putting his hands into the deep oil, saying wow. that the oil is not hot enough for the fish. When we used to measure it, it used to be more than 200 degrees hot. But yeah. you used to put the whole, whole of his hand into the hot oil. That's right. As people would impatiently crowd around waiting for their fish, Deepak's father would insist that the fish needs time to cook by sticking his own hand in the fryer. Right here we have these two massive ovens. Is this yeah, a yeah. tandoor? Yeah, we call it clear oven. This is the boneless fish. I uh, love the advent phone. The main uniqueness is we don't put so much of spices. We actually let our customers enjoy the flavor of meat mm. rather than the spices. And over here they're making bread? What is this kind of bread called? We call it tandoori roti. And he uses like a little pillow and put it yeah, in yeah. I like it. It's very gentle. You want it's, to try? It's very sweet. Yeah. I'll slap a roti in there. Come on. Now, now you'll have to just go go okay. little. Yeah. Be confident, right? Yeah. Oh, what <laughs> 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 You know, they probably have no hair on their I arms. I have a thousand in there. Yeah. Okay. Right Alright, alright, here we go. <laughs> just reaches in. <laughs> Do you have any hair on your hands? There you go. Exactly. Crazy hot. I never would have guessed. Like, obviously, it's hot. It's cooking the bread. Yeah. I like that. Legitimately, it's hard to get hands. We need to try roti. Yeah. Did but you try that when I put his hand in? No. I don't think so. Why? 
Just this side. Ah, uh, okay. Does it stand out a little bit? Call it a swag. It's swag. I need a little bit of style for my show. Uh, should I? No, I'll, I'll let him do it. This place happens to be slamming right now because starting tomorrow, there's a 10 day religious holiday of the Hindi people where they can't eat meat. And so everyone's coming tonight to get their meat on before it's like game over for the meat. Oh God, oh my God. <laughs> How was it on the tradition? Wow, like, it's so historical. Look at all these people recording it. It's not even just me this time. My father basically used How to was he doing that? Minus, not hot. Like when they, they bang the book, but it was actually hot. It takes time to cook, guys. You gotta be patient. Uh, but you don't have to be patient. So we're gonna edit this, and the next thing we're gonna be doing is eating that. We've got the tandoori fish here. No, it's tasty. We've got the fried fish here. It's both catfish, and then a plate here full of mint and coriander chutney, onions, some radish, a little bit of lemon, which we're gonna start by just sprinkling that on there. I like so. It's heavy, it's delicious. It's got body to it, it's meaty. We'll put it with some chutney. Let's try it out. Whoa, that is delicious and very spicy. He's right, he doesn't add a ton of spices. It tastes very natural, but it is quite spicy. The chutney has a busload of cilantro in there. It's so much cilantro, you just gotta dip it a little bit. It's so much cilantro, it's almost burning. Mmm, that's very nice. I can totally see like why this place is a madhouse. Tons of people come in here, grabbing food. I saw someone eating on the hood of a car. Absolutely delicious, hearty fish. Next, we've got our fried fish right here. And this is the very fish he threw in by hand. He was oh. touching the oil. He maybe even grabbed a fish or two when we weren't looking, I'm not sure. Let's try it out. I just don't understand how he does that. Oh. His hands just that's where it's at. I've had fish in Indian Indian so numbers numbers years of doing it. Just a fish fry back home in Minnesota. Yeah, fish fries are huge. Which is good, fried, heavy, fatty fish. A winner for sure. Besties, don't forget to check yeah, the team of the universe video where we feature the exotic foods of Mumbai, India. Please subscribe and click. I want to watch that video. <laughs> Oh, come on, Thank he you just so grabbed much. a teat and some kind of little brain. I want to do that. It was made possible by one trip. Well, he has a ton of videos. This oh. is this. Uh, I think he said that's Mumbai. This was Delhi. Yeah. So apparently, we need to watch the brains episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think I would ever eat brain. It would depend. It would depend. Have you, not, have you not eaten brain? I figured you would have. Eaten no, brain. I would, but like I know some places. Technically, I might have. Barbaro sometimes has a. Has a, a hodgepodge of things. It does. It's, no, like I know there's been there's been. I know I've heard of stories of places not in India who that have like eaten the brain out of an animal while the animal's alive. I'm not. Ah! Doing, I'm never doing that. Why would you? Because you're fiendish. That's that's unethical. I, <laughs> I'm with you, my friend. Ah, uh, but so any, like something like that, I would not do. No, I'm talking like because like a pig brain or or calf brain, and they've used the entire animal for other things to eat. And it's being prepared in a certain it way. Just I would looks, absolutely it just do looks that. like a texture that I can almost guarantee I won't like. Yeah, see, because that's the thing for you is the texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of these I couldn't do because of the texture. Like the, the and it was noodle, interesting, the, the noodle thing. Cream. Like whenever whenever we've done like Buffalo Wild Wings or we've, we you know on a, a Friday night or something, you you always want them boneless, and it's always unnatural to me to eat those things without the bone in them. I don't like it. I love eating off. I love. Don't you don't like to take like. The hound in Game of Thrones, like take a half a chicken or a whole chicken and just mm -hmm. really no. The thought of like having a whole chicken to eat that's been roasted and you just can rip off a leg and get it all over your face. No, because then I remember about the murder that just happened that I'm eating. <laughs> hey, I eat meat, but you have to acknowledge it's murder. <laughs> hey, I eat meat. Hey, I eat, I do, but. Hey, the reality is, is it is murder, <laughs> regardless of if you if you think it's warranted Come murder on. or not. It's murder. Okay, so now we're getting this, we're gonna get such a great thread on this one. So you differentiate, I would hope, between killing and murder. Well, uh, uh, no, not with animals because they <laughs> really yeah. you don't differentiate killing no, and murder. No, with, not with animals, no. So it's all murder. Yeah. So why aren't you vegan? I've uh. I've contemplated it many times. It's the it's the ethical. how can you be, how can you go to bed at night? Chicken tastes so good. 